And uh, some good news, positive news in the drought. New numbers show LA residents are saving water at a critical time for the states. Yeah, we are going on a third dry year, and it's important that we continue doing our part. Delon Kwan is with LADWP and is joining us live with some updates on the progress. Good morning. Yeah, good. Good morning, Marcy and Chris. Glad to be here. Yeah, so great to have you with us. So LADWP has seen a decrease in water consumption since moving into phase three. So how much of a decrease have you seen and is it making a difference with the drought? Yeah, then that's a great question. So just kind of as a quick reminder, the new phase three outdoor watering restrictions that you mentioned about that went into effect for DWP customers on June 1st. Essentially what that means is that we need our customers to reduce their water use because we are responding to a third consecutive dry year here in the state. And we need to preserve those limited supplies as best we can. So you need to also remember too that about 90% of Los Angeles's water supplies come from hundreds of miles away from Northern California, uh, from the Eastern Sierras and from the Colorado River. And then the remaining 10% of our water supply comes locally from groundwater and recycled water. So it's it's also important to know too that the imported supply right now that stress that's coming from Northern California is the one that's critically dry right now and water that's in storage also are, are pretty much at historic levels. So restrictions that um, are currently in effect limits outdoor watering to two days a week and depending on your address, odd number watering days are Mondays and Fridays, even numbers are Sundays and Thursdays and watering's not allowed between the hours of 9 to 4 p.m., 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. So with, with, with the restrictions, reduction in restrictions, uh, water use that you mentioned about with the month of June behind us, uh, we saw customer demands go down by 9% compared to June of 2021 last year. And it's also the lowest water demand for the month of June that we've ever seen uh, in spite of June being a little bit warmer than average. So the benefit that you asked about the 9% reduction now in the month of June is essentially water that's now preserved and safe for the future. And that's important when the warmer months are still ahead of us. Yeah, Delon, let's talk a little bit about the hotter months that are coming. So talk to us about the importance of people staying vigilant and also keeping this effort going because it's good news right now and people are listening, but we need to continue it as well. Yeah, so you bring up a great point, Chris. Uh, we've seen the great initial response from our customers and the need to keep up the great work conserving and using water efficiently and not wasting it. So. We're still early in the drought response, and we believe that the key to continuing to make progress is focused on increasing communication and awareness with our customers. So it's important that they know about the restrictions. Uh, we're doing everything we can to provide them with helpful tips on saving water, getting the word out, on also how to submit water waste complaints. Um, uh, they can go uh, submit water waste complaints through our hotline number at 1-800-DOWP. And we're also promoting uh, generous rebate programs that can help uh, customers both save water and save money on their water bill. Great. And, and what could happen if we don't keep making progress? Could there be potential fines for water wasters? So uh, as to the enforcement part, uh, we have our Water Conservation Response Unit or water crew that patrols all parts of the city to make sure that our customers uh, comply with the two days a week watering and they also go out there and they look for water wasters so such as customers that might not be aware of uh, the the, uh, the restrictions that are currently in place uh, hosing down driveways having excess overspray of their sprinkler systems running onto the sidewalks those kind of things that are wasteful practices those are prohibited in our ordinance so uh, we try to do uh, more enforcement and education aspects of that as opposed to going out there and and uh, you know, penalizing people. So just as an example, in the recent months, we saw a threefold increase when we got the word out with water waste complaints. Uh, we saw a threefold increase. That's and then good. That, important. Yeah, that, that's so good to hear. And, you know, Delon, the biggest thing is that we all are doing what we need to be doing. It's good news. We're saving water, but we still need to do more. So thank you so much for your time this morning. Some some good insight and information for us um, as we move forward in, into the hot, hot summer. Yeah, thanks for helping to get the message out. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Thank you.